I be so sick of your niggas, y'all contradict me. I be so bold myself, bring you come and fuck me. I feel so ordinary, so when you around me, treat me like water, why you wear me out? Are you missing? Tear me out. Just Just recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Mind Your Business. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, so apparently I parked around the back entranceway. I really thought collard greens <laughs> Girl, I love you. How is it? Let me tell the vlog. I'm up here going to bed for her thinking that she ordering collard greens, y'all. Girl, look at the The greens, not the potatoes. I'm like, yeah, you need to get your greens. <laughs> Alright, so we are done with brunch. Let me see what time it is. It's like 125. And so we are maybe headed to chit chat with my mom's mom's do see what she up to. I'm gonna call her before I stop by. Um but brunch was good. I enjoyed what I had. It was really good. I am like a French toast connoisseur, and the French toast, baby, was excellent and on point. Okay, so I enjoyed that very much. The weather is not so bad, it's about 60 degrees out here, and so we get ready to call mom Dukes, let her know that we get ready to stop by, and Check in with the husband and then probably run into the grocery store. I hate going into the grocery store, but we're gonna run to the grocery store real quick. So we can go ahead and get something and cook. Because when I get home, I'm gonna cook as soon as I walk in the door. Because if I get comfortable, it's a wrap. So let's see what mom dude's doing. And I'll pick y'all back up. Y'all, it's a few hours later and 
we already went to the store and right now we are dropping huh all right i'm waiting for you to get in And right now we are waiting for mom dupes to get in the house because like we said we stayed productive today put my seatbelt back on so my mom wanted to go to the mall and what i've learned over the years going to the mall with my mom is allow her to shop you don't look you just let her shop And so that's what I did. I just allowed her to shop, was patient the whole night. And so she wanted to look in a few stores. That were, that's what we did. I'm just dropping her off and I'm going back to the house. I've already uh, went to the grocery store and we took the groceries home for husband to get them out of the car. Junie put the groceries up. And so that way I didn't have the groceries in the car while I was hanging out with my mom, right? And so now we are off to the house. I don't have to cook because husband already cooked when he got off. Today was an early birthday for him. So I think I am going to maybe stop and swing and get me some. I want some Chick-fil-A. Now, is Chick-fil-A open today? Because it is... Uh, President's Day, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So we'll just scoot up there real quick and see whether or not Chick fil A is open. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey, shit, you about to break it down that trying to see what's going on over here. Um, so we, um, uh, yeah, that's what we get ready to do. So, so not too much, not too much. I did try, uh, I don't remember the name of the perfume. But I know it's like MCM. It looked like MCM. And I don't know if it is MCM. But it smelled good to me. And then I did try a fragrance by Joe Malone. And I can. Even though I didn't keep the sample with me. I can still smell it. And it smells good. I didn't know they had so many fragrances. But again like I said. I couldn't look too much. Because I've learned when I shop with my mom. Let her shop. And you just, you're just there. Right? You're just there. Uh, I see a nice uh, uh, Boulevard watch. Really nice. A, a nice Boulevard watch. And I saw a really nice Gucci purse that I like. So, um, so I really just did browsing. I don't really need anything. Um, notice I said need. If I was to get anything, it was just because I wanted for the hell of it. But that's, that's not where my focus is. My focus right now is on travel. My focus is travel and my focus is big ticket items. And when I say that, that's like me getting a moped or um, me getting a moped or a slingshot, right? In which, in all, fairness, in all fairness, I'll probably get a moped first before I get a slingshot, right? So that's where I'm, my focus of my enjoyment on my money now is like, I don't I don't need any more shoes because me and my husband was talking the other day, like shoes, we don't order shoes galore that we got shoes. I probably got at least four pair of shoes that I have not even wore yet. So tennis shoes. Yeah, I've been there, done that. That's not my focus. So... I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm about to call Junie because I want her to uh, look up and see if if Chick Fil A if Chick Fil A open because we getting ready to uh, binge watch. Finish binge watching Betty, Betty, Betty shot a clock. So we getting ready to watch that. Junie, is you screening your claws? Girl, you screening your calls? Why you didn't say hello? I didn't say hello. I didn't hear you. Um, this is screening your calls. Screening your calls meaning like when you pick up the phone and you don't say nothing, you wait for the person to say hello so you can hear who it is first. Uh, can you can you see? Do you think Chick Fil A open? 
Let me know. I'm gonna swing up there. If it is, do you want something? Huh? What you about to say? You want something else? You already ate? You ate some? You already ate? I just pulled my noodles out of the microwave. Alright, well, that's cool. I was just asking. I'm gonna run up there. I don't think they open because it's a holiday. But because I'm gonna jump on the expressway real quick, I'll run up there and look. If it is you want you want something, I forgot I had to check. Yeah, I just want some nuggets. Why am what? Like, I don't know. You talking weird, like you just repeating stuff. Sorry, Junie. I'm just gonna get off the phone with you right now, okay? You seem real distraught. Like, you okay? I just left me, mommy. What do you think? <laughs> I just left me, mommy. What you think? Are you going or are you letting me go? We had Chick fil A, and I don't like the fact that Chick fil A has adopted this. A McDonald thing, how you are in two lines, then you merge in one because people be acting like now you know you order as I order. And at first they used to tell you what car to follow behind, but they don't do that shit anymore. And they need to go back to doing that because people be about to get their ass kicked over some chicken, okay? And I haven't eaten Chick fil A and I see it's another car coming up, so let's see. Like, ma'am, you know, like clearly you were behind me, like. getting on my freaking nerves y'all so we are getting ready to see these breeds out baby but i need a game plan so um i am ready to cut my hair but i'm gonna take the braids out i'm gonna see how big and full my hair is so i can go back to my my coils right but i think i want to go back and cut my hair into my tapered cut but I do want a color. I think the color that I want is a nice ginger orange color. Not my whole head, right? Just like some pop. And I meant just like some highlights up in the top. The problem is, I think when I go to my stylist, I just want her to give me a good wash and cut it. I don't want her to do the color or anything like that. I think I'm gonna let my daughter do the color for me because she colors her hair really good when she does red and yeah i don't think i'm gonna pay the stylist to color my hair i think i'm just gonna pay for the cut i want my taper cut but i don't want it so far up i just want like the few a little taper and i want hair towards the back like kind of like mo mohawk style but not mohawk style so um i got a picture of how i want it to look yeah so we are either going to try to do that this week or next week for sure so probably next week because and i gotta figure it out because we go out of town march 1st right uh today i think is the 19th i got an event to attend saturday i told a good friend of mine that i'll help her with her pop-up shop because it's something out of her comfort zone and you know me i don't mind running my mouth okay i don't mind running my mouth but that's Thursday, so it's kind of like, I can't take my braids out, don't have nothing to do with my hair, right, for, for the weekend. So I don't know if I might take it out Thursday, Thursday night, and then Friday, and then core my hair for the event Saturday, which is the baby shower. And then that way, next week, it'll give me time to determine and figure out what I want to do with my hair. So... Why do people got that mask on and they in their car? together I think when people are going back to wear their mask they're missing what the protocol like the protocol to mask wearing was like J J A Y like if I'm in the car I'm riding by myself I don't need to have a mask on Make it make sense. Right, just that first stop. You saw it, right Thanks. Now, why you got a party? Why? Like, I feel like being part. Oh, like Pika over there. Like, girl, people kill. People kills me when they just be 
be like staring. Not too much, not too much, Jake. Not too much. Boy, why is you parking everybody? Not too much, not too much. I need her to answer this phone. Now, one thing about these blazers that I got on, y'all. I like them, right? They cute with you. I know he's not coming to me and you just made me part. Thank you. Girl, like girl. Why did you part me? Chick-fil-A seem like... Let me see. In the beginning... I could say, of course, you know, Chick-fil-A used to get my money all the time. All the time, right? Um, when my kids were smaller, when my kids were younger and because I was just transitioning into a, like a different job, they had to go to work to work with me. So the kind of reward for them on the weekend or on Fridays was that we got Chick-fil-A. And when I say we did that for years, y'all, my only mistake with that, and uh, trust me, it's, I don't, I don't care. Be like, ooh, if I did, I would have did anything different. The only thing I would have done differently is when they had the app back then, I was not a person into app. When people be like, oh, they got the app, you can scan this. Woo, woo, woo. I didn't do that. I think that's the only downfall because if I would have been like scanning the app for the points, and when I said we ate Friday every day faithfully, you can even ask my husband, ask my kids. Like, when, even when me and my husband first started dating, he was like, noticing on Friday, I will pull up. He'd be like, y'all y'all get your chick-fil-a again it's like yeah it's like it's my treat for my kids like and we did that my son is now 23 years old and i think we did that at least like well up until like high school and i'm not saying they still came to work with me but even after like they aged out and happened to come to work with me and then started working and could stay home by themselves and you know they were into after school sports and all that stuff like that it's crazy we still got chick-fil-a on friday still got chick-fil-a on friday and the craziest part about it now when me and my husband really you know really started kicking it like really hard and stuff like that we were dating and then you know we moved in um you know moved in together he became a part of the chick-fil-a friday family that's so crazy so he became a part of the chick-fil-a friday family all my friends knew like on friday like we were eating so that's why now it's a hit and a miss i don't know the last time i ate chick-fil-a it's probably been maybe like a month since i probably had some from chick-fil-a and they're not hitting like they used to be hitting like the fries like hitting like everything was hitting now they they not chick-fil-a get your shit together but y'all don't got enough money out of me so i'm good like i'm not complaining at all i'm not complaining now i am really like a sushi japanese uh what else that's that will be my main thing sub type of girl i always say the s is seafood sushi sub salads that's me all day every day and i know my husband hate it sometimes but He'll flip, flop, he'll flip flop back and forth with me and kind of give in some time and let me go eat Japanese because he know that's what I love. And then he's a big Mexican. He's really big on Mexican food. So it is what it is. But we headed to the house, y'all. I don't think I'm about to do too much. Me and husband about to get ready to uh, plan these vacations. But I think I'm going to go ahead and probably end the vlog here. And... Y'all already know what type of vibes we own until we chit chat again. And I first of all want to thank y'all for coming in and kicking it with your girl because you didn't have to. You didn't have to be here. You could have been at anybody else's channel, but you came and kicked with your girl and show some support. So much love and thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And until we meet and chat again, y'all already know what type of vibes we are on, okay? Ciao.